Today in the Daily Dose, the Works Progress Administration. Created by executive order on May the 6th, 1935, President Franklin D. Roosevelt created the WPA, later renamed the Works Progress Administration in 1939, designed to employ Americans in the construction of infrastructure projects during the darkest days of the Great Depression. Created at a time when a whopping 20% of American adults were out of work, by 1938, Roosevelt's WPA employed some 3.3 million largely unskilled American men in the construction of 4,000 new school buildings, 130 new hospitals, as well as the construction of 9,000 miles of storm drains and sewer lines. The program also saw the construction of 29,000 bridges and 150 airports, while planting 24 million trees and paving or repairing 280,000 miles of roadway. Thanks to Eleanor Roosevelt's lobbying efforts aimed at her husband, the WPA also oversaw Federal Project No. 1, or simply Federal 1 as it was known, which employed artists, musicians, actors, and writers to further bolster the ranks of the employed at the same time inspiring downtrodden Americans with the creation of hopeful artwork and performances amidst crippling economic uncertainty. While critics saw Federal One as a waste of taxpayer dollars, Federal One consumed a mere $27 million of the WPA's lifetime expenditure of $5 billion, or approximately $95 billion in today's currency. Federal One would also see the establishment of over 100 performing arts centers in large and small American communities alike. When FDR took office in 1933, he promised a new deal for every American, which later translated to the employment of 350,000 African Americans, or roughly 15% of all those employed by the WPA. While many politicians and union leaders criticized the WPA for gross inefficiencies and raging cost overruns, a chronic condition that added the word boondoggling to the American lexicon. The WPA offered employment opportunities to millions of desperate Americans during the hardscrabble days of the Great Depression, leaving behind a legacy of schools, roads, dams, and bridges, many of which remain in use to this day, including such iconic structures as the Hoover Dam, the Library of Congress, and the San Francisco Mint. When weapons production began ramping up as the nation edged closer to entering World War II, when unemployment dropped to a lowly 2%, FDR and the federal government began an operational slowdown of WPA projects, eventually shuttering the program in June of 1943, making the WPA a vital lifeline during the darkest days of the worst hard time. And there you have it, the Works Progress Administration. Today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.